All right, guys, I am so excited for this next tip. It's one of my favorites of all time. I know I say that a lot, but I'm serious this time. It's definitely top two or three at least. We're going to talk about how to randomize items from a list using offset and ran between functions. So essentially what we're going to do here is we're going to combine offset with a whole number random number generator using rand between to essentially jump around to random rows within a list or cell range. Now you might be asking yourself, why would I ever want to do that? What's the point? And I can assure you that there are very serious, very applicable reasons for learning these tools, like building your own band name generator. Here we have two lists of words. We've got hilarious adjectives in column A, and we've got hilarious nouns in column B. And our mission here is to use those offset and ran between functions to randomly generate the name of our next band. Now the beauty of this is that because ran between is a volatile function, it means that our band names will regenerate with any workbook change or if we hit that F9 calculate shortcut. So I've already wasted an embarrassing amount of time just refreshing this, you know, late on a Friday night laughing to myself, but I'd love to hear some of the band names you guys come up with. I think my top ones right now are uh, Belligerent Snowman, that was pretty good. Uh, Whimsical Kittens was a nice one. And of course, the uh, White Hot Sunflowers. I'd say those are in my top three. So uh, let me know if you can top those. Leave a comment. I'd love to hear them. Now, of course, there are other common use cases, like creating real business models or scenarios where you want to randomize certain inputs, or of course, building your own hilarious band name generator because why not? So with that, enough talking about it. Let's jump into Excel and actually build this tool. All right, so once you've gotten your pro tips workbook opened, we're gonna be looking for the selecting random list items demo. It's a green tab in our formula tip section, or you can head to your table of contents and link straight to it. And here we've got our band name generator, two lists, each containing 30 items, and all we need to do is pull that random item from list one, random item from list two, and concatenate or combine them together into our band name. Now there are actually a few ways to do this. You could use index functions, you could use offset. Both are perfectly valid tools for pulling values from a specific location within a range. In this case, we're gonna use offset. So let's go ahead and start typing this function. We are going to offset from a given reference or starting point in this case, our header from list A, cell A1. And let's lock it in with F4. Now the number of rows that we want to move this reference down, this is where the randomization comes in. We don't always want to move down one or two or 10 rows. We want to move down a random number between a certain minimum and maximum, known as the bottom or top values. So the minimum number of rows that we want to move is one because that would take us one row down into the first item of our list, aquatic. And the largest number that we want to return, the top value, is 30, which would take us all the way to the bottom of our list. Now, that's all we need to do for this iteration of the function. We can go ahead and close off the parenthesis, comma over to the next argument, which is columns. And because we don't want to move from our starting point left or right, we're going to use a zero here. And because we're not looking to return a range or array with a given height or width, we can close off the function right here and press enter. So it's pulled a random item, in this case, elegant, out of list one. And instead of reinventing the wheel, let's go ahead and just copy that formula, paste it in word two. And all we need to do is change that starting point from cell A1 to B1. And we should be good to go. So ugly and aardvarks are the two words that were randomly returned. Last step here is just to concatenate them, combine them together into that band name. So let's say equals the space in quotes, ampersand for concatenate, grab that first word, ampersand, open quote at a space, and then finally grab that second word, press enter, and there we go. The Magnificent Bubbles is our first randomized band name. And remember, because of the fact that ran between is volatile, you can either press the F9 shortcut or go into formulas, calculate now, 
to see this recalculate over and over and over. So we could just call it a day right there if our lists were not going to grow or shrink at any point. But if we want to get a little more flexible, what we can do is actually replace this hard-coded maximum random number of 30 and use a function like count a to make that reference more dynamic. And what that will do is it will count the number of items in that list, whether it's 30 or 40 or 50 or 10, and use that as the maximum range for our ran between function. So again, it gives us a little bit more flexibility so that we can add to or remove from these lists. So I'm going to delete the 30, type count A, and reference the entire column A, lock it in with F4, and only catch here is because we have a header that's non-blank as well, we're just going to close out the parenthesis, subtract one from that, and we should be good to go. So press enter there. We can go ahead and copy that same formula, paste it in word two, change the references to B1 and the count of column B, press enter, and we are good to go. So there is our handy little randomized band name generator that we've built right here in Excel.